I'm gonna do another like unboxing type video, but just a warning to the guys that this is more for the girls. So if you're like weirded out by feminine hygiene, then now's the time to like move on. So that's my disclaimer to you. So the older I get, the more I get concerned and more aware of how important it is to take care of your body. Like, this is our one and only. There are no replacement parts. There is no local body part store. We could just go pick up a new kidney or liver or heart or whatever you may need. So with that said, I'm more conscientious than ever about what I consume and what I put on my body and therefore what I put in my body, if you get where I'm going. So for a little bit now, I've been um, wanting to try out organic cotton tampons. So today's the day where I made that purchase and I'm about to open it for the first time. I didn't do a ton of research. I know there's not a whole wide variety of options out there. Um, so I just went to Target and I read so I looked at my, I think there were three different brands available that offered the organic cotton tampons. Um, so I did pick up each box and I read pretty much every side of the box. Um, I did compare pricing a little bit and the one I chose to purchase, it was the most expensive of the three, but the reason I went with that one is because it was the only one that stated that the applicator is BPA free. And I know the applicator, like it doesn't linger, it doesn't stay. But plastic is something that I, I'm just a little bit leery of plastic. Not to say I don't use it, but I'm always like plastic. So I went with the brand called Cora. And the cool thing about Cora is that when it's kind of like the Toms, you purchase one, you get one, kind of cool. The packaging is cool. So I open the box. They're kind of sleek, like not so up. This is like totally my style. I like it. So these are the regular observancy. So kind of pricey to be like opening this for no reason, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So I opened it. It looks like a regular tampon. I don't know what I was expecting. With that packaging, I was expecting to be like, ooh, that's a fancy tampon. So it's one of those compact designs where you have to pull it out and then you like trigger it. I feel like it's a little bit flimsy. Like, I don't know if that matters for the overall like performance, but I just, it, it could be a tighter fit. I'm going to go ahead and trigger it so we can see what the actual cotton part looks like. So here it goes. Whoop. <laughs> I'd say it's a normal size. Sometimes you get these things and you're like, the hell is that? So I don't know what just happened in the past three seconds, but I seem to have lost my tampon. I think I'm going to go ahead and like try it in the water because that's always kind important to see like how it does it open up is it really absorbent so let's just try it in the water so I get one shot at this I really don't want to screw it up so here we go in the water well it kind of I don't know the the brand that I currently use, it kind of like flowers open. This one, it kind of, fish it out here. It kind of stays round. So this will be interesting. I wonder how that, will it play a role in when it's actually being used? I will let you know if it's terrible. One thing that I notice is that it's starting to like unravel here. Can you see? But I'm not going to like knock it too much for that because I cannot imagine that I'm going to let this thing get like that friggin' full. So I think they're going to be good. I like how they feel.